Ladies and gentlemen, hold on to your hat. Without further ado, it's the Morning Gardeners Show. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's yours truly, the Morning Gardener. And I was talking to a neighbor, and she suggested that I tell my story about what it's like to move 20,000 pounds of uh, wood chips by yourself and that it will be an interesting story so I decided to do it. I started out uh, one morning uh, I was trying to order some wood chips and couldn't get anyone I mean on the line I mean you go online and, and top and, and till it and type in free wood shop woodchips.com it'll bring up to a website that website allows you to put your address and information in so that when there is a tree or uh, some service being done in your area they'll know that you'll be on a list and they'll call you up on your cell phone and say listen would you like us to drop and you tell them where and when and all that uh, good information so uh, I saw them on that list and uh, I, I'm leaving out to go to Walmart um, you know thinking well one day they'll deliver it well on my way up there I went past a college and they were cutting down some trees there and I just stopped I pulled over and it was a crew of people working there and um, they said um, I said excuse me sir who's in charge and, and, and they kind of pointed at one gentleman uh, Pablo I think his name was Pablo uh, very nice gentleman very professional and he and, and I said, "What are you gonna do with these wood chips?" And he says, "Do you want? Do you want?" And I said, "Um." He said, "I'll follow you. I'll follow you." I said, "I live right around the corner from here." I, I, well, actually, I didn't. I lived about three blocks, three four blocks. And um, so anyway, he follows me in the truck, and I'm driving with my car in front. And I'm looking at him in the back, saying, "He's he's slowing up. Why is he slowing up?" And uh, I forgot that he's carrying a, a full load. So I slowed up and he continued to follow me. So we drive and drive. I said, he's not going to follow me because we're going into, uh, 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 you know, we're in an urban environment. People are very per paranoid about urban environments. So what happened was we got there. I pulled over to the side and I said, listen, the car that's in the driveway, let me pull it out and then you can back up and drop. He said, okay, okay. He's got everything under control. I pull the car out, park it on the opposite side of the street. He pulls this big, massive truck up into my yard in the driveway. My neighbor comes out uh, next door to me. He looks at it, and he's thinking, what the hell is he doing? I can see the look on his face. And so he says, where do you want it? And I said, back it up right about here. Can you do it there? Because it's a small area. He said, yes. He backs it up. Truck starts to slip because the grass is somewhat wet, it starts to slip. It's after all, it's, it's in the winter. So I said, whoa, whoa, I said, stop. I said, you're gonna, you're gonna get stuck. Trust me, you're gonna get stuck. He stopped, they dumped. When I saw it come out of there, that's when I realized that I'm in deep. And I saw all this stuff come out, enough to, to it looked like enough to bury three quarters of a town car. If anyone knows, remember what the old big town cars are like. And I said, how much is there, sir? He said, the truck will hold 10,000 pounds. And the truck was full. So he pulls off. And I'm looking at all these wood chips. My God, I'm saying to myself, all these wood chips. And at that point, I started to think, what the hell have you done? And, and I said, how are you gonna move all of this? How are you going to, my God, do you have the tools, do you have a front loader to move all of this? I said, no, I just got two trash cans, a shovel, and a little lawn tractor. I didn't know I was going to use a lawn tractor at the time. I was thinking about buying a, uh, a, 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 a wheelbarrow. It would have took two years to do it that way. So three hours go by, I go back up there, and he got another truck load. <laughs> Here's how crazy I am. I told him, what are you going to do with those? He said, I'll follow you. And I said, wait a minute, because I remember how much space was not there in my yard. And I said, you're a professional. What you saw when you looked at my property, do you think is enough room 
to get another load in there. He said, yes, yes, yes. And we, we're on our way back again with a second load. He dumps it. I see my driveway disappear. Now he pulls off. I look at it and I know for a fact I am crazy. There is 20,000 pounds of wood chips. Now unless you actually seen 20,000 pounds of wood chips in one place, you couldn't even imagine what I'm thinking, of, uh, what, it, what it looked like to me. So my neighbors are coming home and getting off work and everything, and they, they're saying to me, the phone's ringing, hey, what's going on? Hey, what, what, what's, they, see, they saw this mountain that took the space of two cars in my driveway. There was no room for cars to come up in my driveway anymore. So, now I'm saying to myself, I went too far. So I get out there the next day and I try to move it. And um, I take eight trash can full back there with my tractor and a wagon. And I come back and look at the pile and it looks exactly like I never touched it. And I take eight more trash cans back and it looks like I never touched it. Then I work on it all day, all day, all day. I'm just rolling, I'm just sweating and my arms and my hands and, and my, my legs and even my hands, nothing's working anymore. And I looked at the pile and it looked like I never touched it. And I said, oh my God. I said, I said it's gonna be about a year and a half I get this from here. And now I'm concerned about reality kicking in. It's, it's, it's a, you live in a residential area, you have all this wood chips, your neighbors have a right to a certain way that their community should look. And by that time it was too late. So I talked to the neighbor next door to me and I talked to the neighbor on the other side of me and both of them was like, oh, okay, do what you gotta do. You know you gotta plant a garden. You know you're into gardening, so do what you gotta do. You're the morning gardener. And across the street, and they were cool with it. Uh, I kept moving, it, kept moving, it, kept moving. Then it started looking like a dent after about a week. It started looking like I was putting a dent in it. And I just kept at it, kept at it. Now, physically, do not do this unless you're up to it. I'm just telling anybody. Uh, I work out in the gym a little bit. And uh, I'm gonna just tell you like this. It is not for the faint of heart to try to move it with a shovel and two trash cans. The trash cans, when you fill them up, gets to about 100 pounds. That's no big deal to me. But when you swing 100 pounds and 100 pounds, you're doing that for like four or five hours, uh, 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 you know, to pick it up and then to go drop it and, and also to, to, to keep shoveling it in. My hands, I remember waking up in the morning, my hands, my, my fingers were swollen. I remember that. I remember the, the, the way my hands felt. I remember my back. I remember my belly. Everything was hurting. My neck, my feet, my butt. Everything was hurting. And I said to myself, this is not for the faint of heart. This is not. You can kill yourself doing that. You can kill yourself doing that. And I just kept at it, kept at it, kept at it. Because I had to have that garden. I had to have, I knew once I put this work in, I'm all set. This is the Money Garden, and that's my story on how it feels, what it feels like to move 20,000 pounds of wood chips by yourself.